Hey, my name is Dave Thompson and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about a lender that's just dropped a two-year fixed price deal at less than 4%. It has been a long time, nearly two years, since we've had rates at this level. And this is one of the big lenders. So you really want to watch this and find out all about this latest deal. And this is good marketing by this particular lender because... Right now, there's a lot going on this week. Um, we're going to cover that in this video as well. We've got the Fed, we've got the Bank of England, we've got inflation and much, much more. So let's talk about who is this lender that's got a sub 4% deal. But before we jump into this, as always, if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit the bell notification. We're a smidge away from 30,000 subscribers. Have a look around this video. We've got 1,200 people subscribed last week. So thanks to everyone that's new on the channel. Am I here? Smash like, tickle like, do something to that like button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It gets more views on the channel and that's what we want, right? So take a moment to do that. So there is a lot going on this week. Um, we will have a lot of videos this week, some extra videos. First off, We've got the Bank of, sorry, not the Bank of England, the inflation data is out tomorrow morning. Now, that is expected that the inflation data, it will stick around the 2.2%. So no increase, no decrease, uh, relatively flat. Service inflation from what people are expecting is increased um, somewhat. That's going to be a concern for the Bank of England. Then tomorrow evening, we've got the Bank of America, well, the Bank, not the Bank of America, the Federal Reserve, um, they are doing their interest rate meeting and they're likely to drop. Now, the conversation is how much are they going to drop? Is it going to be a quarter of a percent or half a percent? Whatever they pick, that's likely to be what they will continue with. So if they go down by a quarter of a percent, that means the next meeting they will probably go a quarter, a quarter, and they'll keep dropping in quarters unless something major happens like a recession or the unemployment goes through the roof. So if they go half a percent, which is what we're expecting, that's good. That means it will go half, half, half. And the Bank of England has their meeting on Thursday and they're likely to pause this week. It is expected that they won't drop interest rates, but we could have a surprise. Last um, August, we had that surprise, didn't we? We weren't expecting them to drop, but they did. So that's what's going on this week. But who's got the good marketing? It's Santander. Now, this is smart because there's so much talk about interest rates this week, about inflation, and all of that stuff. So if you can be a lender to get out there with one of the best deals in the market, which they have here, you're going to get a lot of publicity and that's free marketing and it gets your message out there. That's probably why they've done this. Santander have just dropped their rate down to 3.99% as of today. Now, why this is interesting, because I know you're going to say you've given us loads of rates under 4%. This is a two year deal. All those other ones have been five-year deals to get you locked in because the banks know rates are going to go down, right? That's important to understand. They know rates are on the downward spiral, so they want to get you in on a good rate for five years to keep you at a higher rate for a longer period of time. Santander is now one of the first to go sub 4%. Well, we've had these deals a couple of years ago, but we haven't had them for a long time. Sub 4% on a two-year deal. That is going to help a lot of people. Now, the loan-to-value is not great on these um, headline rates. They have dropped other rates as well. So it's a 60% loan-to-value or 40% equity in a property. Not many people are going to have a 40% deposit. I understand that. So not really going to be very good for first-time buyers. But lots of people, more than half of the people that have mortgages have more than 50% equity. So this is a very good rate for remortgages. Now, this rate is live. You might not find it on the Santander site. Sometimes when we talk about these new rates, you might need to go through a broker. I would suggest anyway that you go through a broker because I always find that they can push that deal through to completion. I've got a couple of remortgages 
going on this week. One is very easy, one isn't, it's quite complicated, and the broker is really worth the money in that situation. They are getting all everything in line uh, and getting that deal over the line, which would be much more difficult for me. I could do it myself, but I'd be on the phone for hours and hours and hours trying to get that resolved. So Santander is out with this rate. The expectation is that even if the Bank of England now pause and don't cut interest rates, then the good news is that these lower mortgage rates that we're starting to see now, that we've seen for around about six weeks odd now, these are looking like they're likely to stay. Because sometimes when the Bank of England has paused, mortgage rates, the rate that you and I get, have actually increased following those meetings. Now, what we've got to watch out for this week is if the Federal Reserve drop half a percent, we know that we've got Bank of England will be making further cuts at some point. And also, the importance of this is that if they drop half a percent, all of their future drops are likely to be half a percent. At least the next three or four would likely to be half a percent. So that means the Bank of England may shift to that level because if they don't, the pound would get strong in that situation. That could be a little bit of a problem for exports. So we want to keep the pound or the Bank of England want to keep the pound level with kind of where it is now. They don't want it to get really strong because when we export stuff, that causes us problems. Uh, and so it's a balancing act that they've got to get right here. So it will be interesting to see the inflation data. I've, as I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of people think it's just going to stick at 2.2%. Um, then the Federal Reserve is the most important meeting really this week. I think it's more important than the Bank of England because if they drop that half a percent, that's going to make such a big difference going forward with how fast interest rates come down for people like you and me. And that's very, very important. Now, if you've seen any other rates that you feel that we should be talking about on this channel, do always comment on my videos, guys. Sometimes we're getting crazy comments. We had one video last week where we had 1,500 people commented on it when we talked about the renter's rights pill. Um, that was insane. And I do personally reply to every single comment on the channel. So if we should be looking at some other lenders other than Santander this week, do let me know. And let me know when the meetings happen if you see rate cuts, because it's hard to scour and find everything that's out there straight away. I do value all of your opinions. And let me know, what do you think is going to happen this week? Give me some predictions in the comments. Where do you think the Federal Reserve is going to end up? And where do you think the Bank of England will end up by the end of this week? Do comment below. Do check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.